check, check, mic check, 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 mic check. <laughs> Welcome to Podcast Envy. I'm your podcast boss, and today is a special bonus episode inspired by a little email that I got from someone named Harris, who is the producer and host of the Sleep. Wait, did you hear me? That's Harris, host of the Sleep Whispers podcast, whispered ramblings and readings to help you sleep. You know, ASMR stuff. If you've ever had trouble falling asleep, lying awake in bed with your mind churning and churning and thinking of all the things on your to-do list, well, Sleep Whispers is for you. I received an email from Harris because I have been recently featured or rather the guided meditations that I've written have recently been featured by Harris on his show. I'm going to link in the show notes description for this episode and at podcastenvy.com to the latest, which is the fade out of the episode for 123. And it is a guided meditation called the sound in the forest. Anyway, I've wanted to have Harris on the show as a podcaster that you should know. But um, Well, it would be a little weird to interview him and have him whisper all of his answers. So instead, he sent me an email with some really good advice for you. Are you ready? (laughs) This one is going to sound a little controversial, but I love it. All right. Number one, regardless of what other podcasters tell you, you can't give your audience value. What? Isn't that like all the coaching and advice out there that I've heard? This is how you're going to 10x your business and skyrocket your podcast to the top of the charts is by packing your show full of value for your audience. Eh, wrong. The value of your podcast, this is a quote, the value of your podcast content is determined by each listener. They will decide if it has value. The analogy is like saying you're going to tell a funny joke. Nope. Each person who hears the joke decides if it's funny to them. The important message here is to ask for feedback and listen to any that you get. This is the only way you'll know if your content has value or if your jokes are funny. It's podcast angel time, and today I am going to suggest that one way to provide content for your audience to potentially receive value from is to connect on LinkedIn. I recently just started getting into LinkedIn and posting five times a week or more podcasting tips, advice, strategies, ideas, podcasts I recommend you listen to. Go follow me over on LinkedIn. I'm there as Andrea Clunder and connect with me. When you do, listen, when you do, send me a connection request, but include a message that says you listen to Podcast Envy because I'm super careful of connection requests on LinkedIn and I only want to connect with you if you're part of the so to speak tribe. So let me know that you're a listener of Podcast Envy and I can easily say yes to you. Also, if you're thinking about how you can use LinkedIn to grow your audience, offer content, and connect with other professionals in your space, I highly recommend Sammy Gardner's LinkedIn Mastery for Solopreneurs. It is a self-paced online course and connected to her fabulous Facebook group where you will find tons of support, video tutorials, and more from Sammy about how to make LinkedIn fun, engaging, not stuffy, effective, not a waste of time, and well, you get the point. LinkedIn Mastery for Solopreneurs with Sammy Gardner. And when you sign up using my handy dandy link, I will get a little thank you gift back from Sammy slash Teachable for sending you. Tip number two, before experimenting with multiple microphones, experiment with microphone technique. Amen, brother. Test how speaking angle, speaking distance, recorder gain, pop filters, and the room itself affect your recording quality. And if that makes your head spin because it sounds super technical and time consuming, guess what? Take the microphone that you've ordered or that you stumbled across or that you inherited, put some headphones on, use a portable recorder or hold your laptop, whatever you're going to be recording into, and walk around. Walk around and talk. Notice how you sound. 
Notice what the distractions are. Speak above the microphone. Speak into the microphone. Speak under the microphone. Speak to the side of the microphone. And then play it back and notice what sounds the best. Back to Harris. Anyone can make a great microphone sound bad, and sometimes you can make a cheap microphone sound great. Do the experiments to know if it's you or the microphone. Tip number three, don't focus on your number of downloads, but the trend line of your downloads. Oh, we've talked about downloads and numbers on this show before, but this goes even a little deeper to give you some statistical analysis that you can rely on. Back to Harris. If your downloads keep increasing on a regular basis, then that is a measure of success. Listeners with high download numbers have been doing it for a long time. Your initial numbers are just slow growing seeds. Graph out your download progress to predict your future download numbers and then put in the regular work if you want to reach those new numbers. Harris, I couldn't agree more. Thank you so much for sending that advice to our Podcast Envy listeners. Listeners, please check out Harris's show, Sleep Whispers. It is truly an experience. I cannot <laughs> listen to it during the daytime because I will immediately get sleepy and not be able to focus on work. But I guess that's kind of the point. In fact, when I mentioned to Harris how his show is kind of unique in terms of him being one of the few podcasters who is not trying to get his audience to listen to the end of every episode, Harris said, yep, my podcast has its challenges. The best compliment I get is, I love your podcast. I fall asleep in the first 10 minutes every time. <laughs> That would be disappointing for most podcasters. So I never put calls to action or anything important at the end. I end every episode with, quote, I hope you are deeply asleep. Good night. Sleep well. End quote. Podcast Envy is produced by your podcast boss, Andrea Klunder. That's me. The Podcast Envy theme music is by Valentin Sosnitsky, courtesy of the Free Sound Project at freesound.org, and our podcast angel music is by Benjamin Mastropolito, also on freesound.org, as Lemon Cream. All music is licensed under the Creative Commons. Our episodes are mixed by Edwin Ruiz, and hey, if you want your show to sound as good as ours, hire us. Put the magic audio mojo of the Creative Imposter Studios to work for you. Thanks so much for listening, and here's to making your podcast the envy of everyone else.